Good morning, YouTube family. South Texas Prepper here. Um, guys, right now I wanna, I just wanna talk about uh, what's going on with the, uh, obviously the 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 main thing that's going on right now is with Joe Biden. Um, where's he at? Who's running the country? Um, for all of you uh, Democratic voters, um, I I doubt there's many of y'all on this channel. If y'all are, I really appreciate it. But this is not a personal attack or anything. But I I just wanted to bring this out. Uh, remind everybody that in 2016, when um, Hillary Clinton was basically selected over Bernie Sanders, even though he was getting all the delegates for their for their convention, um, he was basically kicked to the curb um, in favor of Hillary Clinton. And when people, you know, brought that up that um, to the to the Democratic Party. Um, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who was the, the chairwoman for the DNC, she stated that um, uh, the Democratic Party was a private corporation and that they could do whatever they wanted. Um, so I just want to remind everybody that that came out. I mean, that was on the news. That was um, publicly stated. So it shouldn't surprise anybody what's going on. Uh, in my opinion, we're seeing something like a, a, a coup in the Democratic Party. Uh, and it's, I don't know about the rules, what rules are, are, are around that delegate what each party can do as far as the American, uh, election, you know, system, you know, what can they do within those parameters? But to me, this is a coup and it's, uh, unlawful, um, because the, the, the will of the American people, um, are just being disregarded, um, and I'm, <clears throat> and for all of you Republicans, uh, the same thing. Remember, um, Mitt Romney was basically like forced down our throats. Um, back then, I was I was still vote. I mean, I was still voting, uh, but I was voting for Ron Paul. Um, and Ron Paul was selling out, was filling stadiums, uh, uh, you know, uh, arenas for his speeches. And uh, he, Mitt Romney was 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 basically placed right above him. So same thing happened to Ron Paul. As a matter of fact, um, or was it 2012? I already forgot what. No, it was 2012. I'm sorry. I apologize. In 2012, Mitt Romney was basically selected over uh, Ron Paul, and that is when uh, when that happened. Um, that is when I decided I wasn't going to vote anymore because the whole thing is corrupt. Uh, I know there's people that believe that. Um, you know, voting is important, and it is. Uh, I believe in the local elections, state elections, our county, our schools, all that, very important. But at the national level, guys, it's been it's been corrupted. Um, now, Donald Trump, he has the support of everybody. I mean, the guy, everybody's voting for him. So, um, you know, I'm not saying it. it I, I'm just saying if I saw that. The system was was legit and followed the rule of law. I would, of course, I would vote because it had a it it, it would have a meaning and you know my voice would be heard or whatever, you know. But of course, uh, I don't think the ruling class gives a, a, a damn about what we say or how we feel. Not until we physically, by force, show them that we we've had enough. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to, you know, do this video to remind everybody, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, for one of the news articles, but I, I remember that clearly. So when all this is going on with Joe Biden and, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, I'm not surprised because the, the Democratic party has said publicly that they don't care what anybody thinks or whatever anybody vote, who anybody votes for. Um, it's what they feel, um, they're going to do whoever whatever they feel um, is best for their party. Not for the American people, but for their party. Uh, I just wanted to remind everybody about that. Um, hope everybody has a, a great day. Um, and just be preparing, guys, because things are kind of feeling really weird, at least for me. Um, I grew up in the 80s, um, 70s and 80s, and I remember the Cold War with the USSR, uh, with the Warsaw Pact. And uh, this really reminds me of uh, when the Soviet Union was collapsing. Um, in the early 90s, uh, the Warsaw Pact, late 80s, all those years, um, especially the USSR. So, um, you know, just 
be aware and stay aware of your situation. Take care of your house, your homes. Um, keep your houses in order and and be aware at all times. Um, be preparing. Um, all of these things that are going on, um, even me that um, I've been preparing for years because of the you know possible civil unrest or the economy collapsing. Uh, even this is shocking to me. Um, even though apparently it looks like life is going on, you know what I'm saying. But it just goes to show you that people basically are just numbed to these big events that are these big events that are going on all around us. Um, some people are just like oblivious. So I just wanted to share that with y'all and uh, remind everybody that the DNC has been doing this for years. Uh, so nobody should be surprised. But, um, you know, I don't, I have no love for Joe Biden. The man is a, a criminal in, in my opinion. Um, he's done a lot of heinous things. His family has done a lot of despicable things. Um, so, but the way they're doing him, the, the, not so much him, but him being the president, um, it, it sets a, a, a bad precedent, um, for future future presidents, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it reminds me of a banana republic, what we're going through right now, so anyway guys, um, I just wanted to put that out there, uh, remind everybody that, you know, the DNC considers themselves a corporation and above the will of the people, y'all take care of each other and love each other out there, that's what we're here for, God bless.